Hi guys, welcome to another product review. Today we're going to be looking at the NYX Technic Amplitronics Series 6 Thermocycler. Hi guys, Jamal here. Today I have with me the um, NYX Technic Amplitronic 6 Series Thermocycler. This is the latest incarnation from NYX Technic for the um, 6 Series. I have the Thermocycler itself here, along with the 56 well block here and the 384 well block here. The 96 block is actually in the instrument itself. If we'd make some observations on the instrument, we see that the device is actually very small, it has a very small footprint, requires very little space on your desktop. The construction is actually very robust. This is a very solid instrument. It strays away from some of the other sub, um, thermocyclers that are currently on the market that kind of have a cheap look, made from cheap materials. This is a very, again, I say solid device. If we take a look at some of the features, we can look at this um, touchscreen display here. This is adjustable and from here, we can take a look at all our parameters at any given time. We can look at our gradients, our temperatures, and we can also change parameters and program parameters here as well. Another unique feature of the Series 6 is its lid locking mechanism. The heated element right here actually comes down when the um, device is in operation. This will stop the um, lid from opening inadvertently. The lid also helps to prevent um, evaporation and aids uniformity in temperature. We can also demonstrate just how easy it is to replace the blocks on the Amplitronics. It's as simple as this. Remove the block like so and replace the new block here. This is the 56 well block I'm, I'm inserting now and I've just removed the 96 well block. But there, that's it. That's all that needs to be done. And again, we can remove the 56 well block there and replace it with the 384 well block there. It really is that simple. This is the view we have from the back of the Amplitronics um, unit. You can see that we have the power switch located just here. The power input here. Power input accepted is everything from 85 volts to 264 volts at a frequency of 47 hertz all the way through to 63 hertz. Um, you can see also that there's a um, port for USB connectivity and your traditional COM port here. Finally, we've got the two fans here for cooling the device. So here we have the three options for the blocks that are available with the Series 6. Um, we have the 96 well block here, the 56 well block here and the 384 block here. All of them are very similar. Um, we've got the wells at the front, the plastic grips for removing, easily removing the um, blocks, and also this large heat sink. At the there bottom. is also the option for an in situ flat block which can hold up to four slides at any one given time. This is not pictured in the video, but we also have this available. Taking a look inside, we can see the connectors for the block here, and it's pretty simple inside. We've got the cooling um, fans at the back, and that's about it for the inside of the instrument. Very simple, that's all you need. When you first power on the Series 6, it runs through a um, set of diagnostics just to check that everything is okay. Um, you'll notice that there is actually a color display on this unit. The Series 4 doesn't have a color interface, Although it is touchscreen, it doesn't have the benefit of um, colour in its display. You can see you're ready to go right from here. Let's take a look at some of the menu options. We'll start off by looking at the run option. Now here, you can start the current program, which is the last program we ran. You can load other programs which you've programmed into the device. And you can view your current um, program settings for any program that you might have running. Finally, there's the incubate option at the bottom. If we go into the program uh, menu, we can see we can edit our saved programs, write a new program, um, and if we go into those, we'll obviously have the ability to ch change parameters as required. If we go into utilities, we see other options like your um, cycler setup, your block setup, your display setup, and um, reset lid travel. And 
if we look at the final um, option of block, we can see which block is actually in there at any given time. In summary, I would say that the Amplatronic Series 6 is an excellent thermal cycler. Um, it has the widest um, gradient range out there, currently 36 degrees, um, and has lots of options for various block sizes for um, whatever applications you might need. Convenient to use, it's lightweight and it's robust. Remember, um, if you need any additional information on any of the aspects mentioned in this video, there is a full specifications table below, um, along with an explanation on some of the more intricate features of the Series 6. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you again.